All right, let's get rolling on crude. Okay, let's go crude oil. Same exact trade that we had yesterday morning that nailed the $2,000 move down. $2,000 move down per one contract, nailed the exact high yesterday, and it just nailed the high again today. Last night in the conference call, okay, last night in the conference call, if you did not attend the conference call last night, it is recorded every two weeks. We have conference calls for J Signal leases, and I went over this exact trade, exactly how it panned out this morning to catch this exact high to the exact bar. What I told you last night, if you want to review it, is I consider session highs or session lows after midnight. There's midnight. And what I do is, is when you come into a session high or a session low, meaning you're at the highest high or lowest low, and then you get back inside a market profile, which you did, you got back inside of HVA here, high value area, you're allowed to take a corrective wave. So this is your session high. And if you want detailed how to do this, like I said, I went over about 30 minute recorded conference call last night. Play the 617 J signal conference call that Gerald sent out to you guys. 617. So there's a session high. I said if we're into a session high and we get back inside a market profile, I'm going to wait for a trend change, a big red triangle. And then I'm going to look between a 62 to 76% retracement, 76.4% retracement, to see if the J signal will fire. It did exactly how I drew it up on the drawing board last night for you. Exactly the exact same trade we did yesterday for that $2,000 per one contract move. It went right into my sell zone. There's your red fib dots. There's your arrow. There's your order entry bar based upon an imbalance of orders. So you can see this is a perfect corrective wave. I hit a session high from midnight. After midnight, it's at highs. I get a trend change. I'm allowed to take the first retracement back up. If it sits right inside my sell zone, the easy way to do a sell zone is take the high, wait till it's retracing from the low after the trend change. There's your sell zone. It stopped right exactly how we drew it up last night on the 30-minute conference call. So if you haven't did it, if you haven't seen this, play it on the 617. J signal conference call for you leases. Really simple way how to do it. Like I said, you're going to see this over, over, and over. Same setup's been working for 30 years inside of an outside of market profile. Okay, we're just predicating our trades off of what the market is giving us. I'm not telling the market what to do. You're not telling the market what to do. It's just we're just getting in when the market is strengthening or weakening. We're taking the first retracement after the confirmation with market profile. Exactly what we're doing. So, but you can see we have motive waves here and here. Motive waves, here was your first retracement. This exactly, this is almost a mirror image of yesterday on how we traded yesterday. Almost a mirror image. Because if you look, there's a motive wave yesterday that happened on the first retracement. And then here's another motive wave with five minute trend. So those are five-minute trends. These are J-signal trades also. So if you look at the price action since midnight, almost exactly the same thing that happened yesterday. Almost, I mean, almost identical chart. I mean, you can put them on top of each other. They almost look exactly the same. There's your first retracement. You're allowed to get back inside of HVA. Just don't break the black line. This black line is key because it tells you that the market is weakening if it gets below back below it on a retracement. So you can see it stayed above it, and then we get this nice little ABC long as far as this goes. So this is our motive wave, same exact trading as we did yesterday. Not hard to understand this concept. There's our motive wave. Then we come into session high. We get back inside of HVA. That tells us the market is weakening. All right, then we come up, and we get a corrective wave. You cannot take counter waves unless you get back inside a profile. If you're outside of HVA and you get a sell signal, you can't take sell signals above high value area. Just like you can't take buy signals, you can't take buy signals below low value. You can't take J signal sell signals 
above high value. It's very, very, very clear. We're very, very clear on that. There's no subjectivity on that setup. You break high value area, it creates an imbalance of orders. You get the first retracement chasing a long motive wave, motive wave. And then we get the corrective wave. And like I said, if you want detailed information on how to do this, I went over this exact same setup yesterday on the 5 and 3 Simrinko. In fact, I stripped it down to show you how market profile works by itself. Please play that video. You get a lot of information out of that. Go to 617 on our private conference calls. You chasing the leases, and you understand how we can catch these uh, swing highs and swing lows on a consistent basis. All right? So that's as far as that goes.